Hello everyone, I just wanted to show you this journal of just, it's actually quite a big one, it's um, an A4, I'm still experimenting with um, just making them because I've only just started making them and it's like people say as soon as you start making one you have to make more. Um, this isn't an art journal, this is this will be like a proper journal. This is a post bound book, A4 size and it has a picture of a dragon on the front. You see then I, I just decorated with some microwaves. I'm not too happy. Well no, I, I'm okay with it. It could have been better but this is for my personal use so it doesn't really matter how tidy it is. What I did I found some wallpaper, it's just a cheap roll of wallpaper, uh, it was for another different project and when I painted it, it just reminded me of like faux dragon skin, there's almost something reptilian about it and that got me to think of a dragon journal and you know how great that would be. So there we have, I've just, basically you know you've got your, your front and your back and the spine covered it painted the front cover and the back cover and then the spine and the little wrap over bit is is different shades it's hard to tell on the front um you can see a bit better on the back and it's all shimmery and you know all that and then inside is just uh, the inside cover as well I'll go down a bit is uh, done then all like that there's a little pose the paper it was just all different these were my experimental paper and they're all kind of different see that one there it was a uh, what I used was um, water mixable oil colors I think it was and then you just stain them with that and then I dripped some different colors on just to see what it would be like and I actually quite like the effect but I, I didn't have a specific purpose for this in mind so they're all kind of different colours this one I'm going to put one actually on for this, this I'll show you the front one um, I used instead of ordinary tea bags it was rose hip tea bags uh, and the actual tea that it makes the water is a red colour but when it dries on here it goes this lovely purple I don't know if you can see it, I've got it here in the corner um, and it was just great and I'm going to do lots more because I just love the colour purple and uh, I like rosehip tea as well <laughs> win win um, yes, yeah, so that was just some of the pages there. And uh, what I've done for just a little bookmark is we have a cord in here and it has a little dragon charm at the end of it. And also I had another one. So there's two dragon charms there. Two dragon charms and some little dragon teeth. Not very big ones. Obviously, some dragons lost its baby teeth there. And uh, just use them as little bookmarks. So there we have it. That is my dragon journal. It's a rather large one. I'm going to make... I think I'll make smaller ones because, like I said, I just loved it. And I love the effect with this wallpaper. Um, and how I use my mica shimmer mists to create some shimmer on the books, on the uh, covers I should say. So yeah, I just absolutely loved it. I will put some close-up photos on at the end of this video so you can see a bit better. Okay, bye.